I'm curious to see what happens here. That's a full pack of bologna, and that's a big pack of chicken. Chicken, too. And then there's a full pack of hot dogs under there, too. And I'm wondering if this fire is hot enough to incinerate all that. There's a lot of juice in that chicken right there. It all went bad in my fridge, so I just froze it until I could burn it. I can't exactly throw it out in the woods. I'll attract some, a bunch of wild animals, so i got to incinerate stuff out here. I don't have garbage pickup either. Look at how hot it gets around these air inlets. That's how much of a difference an air inlet makes when you're designing your burning barrel. So important. You don't get a hot fire without it, and without the hot fire, you can't incinerate everything. It doesn't all burn up. It actually burns like shit, and your burning barrel fills up with ash before you know it. This is about three to five minutes later. You can still tell what they are. See these lines too in the snow? Those are from the heat waves. Those are from the induction, the radiated heat. It's really weird. They go out in lines. See that? It's all around this barrel. That is really interesting. I'd love to know the science behind that. This is the next day. All right, let's try again. This is the next day and there's nothing in here. It all burned up. We even melted glass. That got so hot, I melted glass. You can see it. See that? That was a hot sauce bottle. And this, I think this was another hot sauce bottle. Jesus. Definitely no organic matter left in here. I don't even see any bones or anything. Or steel. My God. That is something else. It's a pretty good design if I can melt glass. See? That's crazy. So while doing the research, I was really surprised to find out that glass melts anywhere between 2,500 degrees and 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So that burning barrel was between 2,500 and 3,000 degrees to melt glass like that. That's absolutely insane. I'll post a link in the description of the making of the burning barrel if you haven't seen that yet. Super simple design, naturally aspirated, easy to make. I just cut pie wedges in it. Check it out. Give you a good swirl flame too.